Okay, so this is the analysis for the new year, actually 2024. This will mark the beginning of my, um, actually not beginning, but this will mark a new era, shall we call it, in my trading journey, inshallah. Good laws, well, um, where this will see me, in, alhamdulillah, hopefully, as funded challenges, I actually go in and put where, uh, put money where my mouth is at, basically. You know, put all that theoretical effort, all that, you know, hours back testing, forward testing, recording, tape reading, journaling, improving, observing, all of those hours of 2023 that I've spent almost every single day of that year observing price action and engaging that with my demo account slash my um, 5, 5k funded account challenge. Now I'm actually going to go all in and actually um, trade it basically with more funded accounts. Still not quite real, but inshallah we'll get funded this year. So this is the first analysis. So, so far, I like the risk off, uh, sorry, risk on approach. You look at this close previous weeks, it was quite weak. Closed way below this here, meant to act as a support. Now for simplicity's sake, you know, I see it, I see a continuation of this going lower into the previous monthly low here, as you see, maybe into this long term. Okay, so I'm not going to trade the first week uh, because there's actually a, f a lot of news coming out as well, not to mention it's the first week of the year we let things settle down generally. But tomorrow there isn't really much going on. But then again, I also know that with FOMC, the first, uh, the Monday of FOMC tends to be a really good, uh, London session tends to be a really good trading day. Now, I'm not sure if that's still going to happen because, you know, it's the first session of the new year so that remains to be seen for my tape reading although tuesday you got some jam pack adventure action going on here uh well actually not jam pack to be honest you just have one piece of deuce for dollar sorry wednesday i mean there's a lot of things going on and then obviously thursday you know not much apart from these figures and then friday is the real fireworks kicking off going back to the chart Look at this daily fair rally gap and how price is closed way below, uh, well, not way below, but closed below 75. Also, uh, real close to the mean threshold here. Typically, if uh, if it's an FOMC, I would normally expect some kind of a move up here. Maybe taking us close to the volume imbalance. And then use the volume imbalance as a means of, um, as a resistance basically to want to price lower to this level. If we lose this beginning of the week, then expect a deeper retracement. Otherwise, I think we can form the high of the week here. May even want to come all the way back up here, although it's better if it doesn't. But we may potentially visit this. And if we close below, keep closing on a daily basis below this fair value gap on the weekly, then just know that we're extremely bearish and we're going to keep pricing all the way here. That's for your dollar. Now for your euro. You know, you were looking at this weekly, I mean monthly high. Annual high actually of 2017. Sorry, 2023 I mean. Now we did actually close quite weakly here. We're extremely weak below the fair value gap here. Also if you draw a inversion fair value gap here. You will see it closing below the mean threshold of that as well. So that's again, uh, you know, not really giving much hope for the rate here on this previous monthly high and fair value gap. And obviously if you continue that we might want to visit this. And if dollar is going to want to go to that volume imbalance on premium, then I think we might even come up, come all the way down here, you know. Um, but if we don't and we stay above this on a closing basis, then it's really bullish and I'm going to see a rate here and here. So it remains to be seen with FOMC. We can, because we can normally in the first part of the week, counterparty, we can do counterparty liquidity pairing against our direction, bullish. 
with FMC boom exploding to the upside on you know, the typical cycle but of course we know it's not that easy you gotta uh, you have to observe the session cycles how the sessions are opening how sessions are closing how days are opening how days are closing how news is being used to uh, manufacture a specific sentiment in the marketplace so all of that goes into that <clears throat> and uh, indices wise I'm not too keen at the moment to say really anything I want to let it loosen up a bit and it opens up. My focus is primarily going to be on these because I'll be trading these on the uh, fund accounts. So that's all I have for now. Thank you.